In Flanders, 50 million kilograms of nitrogen is yearly applied to arable land in the form of synthetic fertilizers, while 33 million kilograms of nitrogen from animal manure is wasted. Therefore, we are looking for ways to efficiently use the nitrogen from animal manure for plant growth to reduce the demand for synthetic nitrogen. Duckweed has the potential to take up nitrogen, but also phosphorus from manure treatment waters and convert them into qualitative protein-rich feed ingredients. This will not only recuperate otherwise lost nutrients, but will also reduce protein imports, as duckweed is a local and productive protein alternative. Here at Tinagro, we grow duckweed on a pilot scale plant of 32 square meters. The used growing medium can be a variety of liquid waste streams. For example, biological effluent of the pig manure treatment can be a source of nitrogen and phosphorus for the cultivation of the duckweed. Challenges, however, remain. Before a product can be used as feed, it should be guaranteed that the product is safe. So heavy metals were intensively monitored in this project, and with success, arsenic, cadmium and lead were all below the legal limits to be used in feed and the concentrations did not build up over time. The research is not over yet. The high water content of duckweed makes the plant perishable. Protein extractions or isolation or drying the plant are effective yet expensive methods to stabilize the quality of the plant. And siling is commonly used in feed production and can be here also used, but research still needs to be performed to have a good quality. As mentioned, the high productivity and the potential to be used as a nutrient recuperation technique provides the plant with some sustainability characteristics. However, there are more aspects within a process that can contribute or reduce emissions. Currently, a life cycle analysis is therefore performed to account for the emissions in each step of the process. Sustainability and safety can also increase the profitability of the technology. Proof of safety will allow the plant to be used after the cultivation on manure treatment waters, but sustainability might even give the plant an advantage in applying for subsidies. To conclude, if sufficient proof on safety and sustainability is provided, then upscaling is the next step. This means that we will actually feed our animals with this local and circular protein ingredient. This will not only be good for them, but also for our planet 